So I'm back again with another quick and easy tutorial showing you guys a new effect that you can easily do on Final Cut Pro 10. In this tutorial, I will show you guys how you can easily select the color in your clip and change it to something else in just a few minutes. And of course, if you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you guys will be notified. Let's get right to it. Here's a clip that I got from Storyblocks video of a girl wearing a red hat. Now let's say the color of her hat doesn't go with the vibe of the video you're making, or you just want to change it for fun. Here's what you can do to change it. Highlight the clip once it is in your project timeline. Click on the color inspector tab, then click on the drop down menu and choose hue saturation curves. Now click the image in the viewer using the eyedropper tool. Select the color of the curve you want to play around with. Hold it down to create a circle on the color that you are choosing to work with. Try to get as much of the color range as you can within that circle. A line will appear where you will be able to adjust the color without affecting everything else in the shot. If there are other colors that are very similar or the same as the one that you're changing, you might change those as well in the shot. I'll show you how to isolate that in a second. Now drag it up and down to see the different outcomes. I'll change the colors around to give it an autumn vibe. So I'll drag it down and make her hat look orange. You can also change the saturation level for the targeted color. Choose the eyedropper tool again, but this time for hue versus saturation. Select the range of color and then adjust it along the line once it pops up, until you are happy with how it looks. If you want to change the colors of the other objects in the clip, just simply add another hue saturation curve by clicking on it in the drop down menu and repeating the process. I will do it again for the trees in the back and give it a more fall look. Now say the colors are spilling over to other parts in the video like I was talking about before. You can easily fix this and isolate it using the shape mask tool. In this clip you can see that her shoes are also changing colors. If you want just a jacket to change colors, select the shape mask tool. Now choose add shape mask and create a shape around just her jacket. If the subject is moving around, you'll probably need to keyframe the shape mask. You can easily do this by adding a keyframe in the shape mask box, then go frame by frame, starting from the beginning of the clip, and then move the shape around so that it continues to highlight her jacket. If your subject is not moving around too much, then you can skip a bunch of frames and just reposition it every now and then. And again, special thanks to Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. I didn't get the chance to film any clips for this video, but I did find some amazing stock footage on Storyblocks, which I used in this video, and I think it worked out perfect. Storyblocks has a ton of stock footage that you can use for any type of projects that you might have, from personal to even commercial, and all of them is royalty free, so you won't have to worry about any copyright issues. And they're always adding new content, and whatever you download is always yours to keep forever. You can use it as many times as you want. So make sure to check them out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time for the content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just to go get her on a conquest. Hey.